Hey guys and welcome back to another season 10 gameplay guide. Today we're going to cover the Renekton champion and we're also playing against the Garen guys. So for the runes you can find it in the description below as well as in the comment section as well as the entire build. But anyway I'll be showing it here too. I'm playing with Conqueror and I'm also playing with Resolve. Taking the demolish for the towers as well as the bone plating. Also we're playing here against Garen so... This matchup is a pretty nice one for Rennington. If he tries to take a CS, I'm gonna try to trade him for that. But first, let me try to rage up a little. Like, get my rage a little bit up. If he tries to take one. Oh, I'm just gonna take one already. There we go. It would have been better if I wait for uh, for him to auto attack first so I could sustain it back. But, yeah. Alright. If he tries to do something right now, I'll immediately do like a massive trade. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm gonna take my E right here because just in case that uh, Kindred comes in like a uh, strange way, we can just get away easily. Also, starting off E after level 2 is not that bad either. I didn't want to miss the, the cannon there. Okay. We know for a fact that Kindred's gonna come top very soon because he started a red buff. So I'm going to place a ward down anyway. Okay. Let me actually trade him here. Perfect. I still got my potion. I'm going to use that now. I just need to build up my rage right now. And then we can like go all in on this guy. Just got to build it up. Nice. He doesn't get that CS. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, we definitely won that trade very hard. This is kind of what the matchup is like. Garen doesn't really win the matchup. I'm gonna put a one point into my Q. We're going to be maxing the Q first, guys. That's the best thing to do on Rannington. Anyway, this guy is definitely not getting any, any chance to do anything here. I won't allow him. We almost have full rage gain, so we can heal like, quite a bit. There we go. I'll just get this down too. Alright. I'm going to queue in the entire wave here. Okay. I'll push it in completely and then I'm going to go back real quick. So I can get my uh, next stuff. There we go. There might be a big chance that Kindred could be here. Because the camper here is like a... Uh... Oh, he just took it. Like uh, Kindred is passive also in that camp. So I wouldn't be surprised if he would take that one. Anyway, I'm going to be building the Black Lever first right here. It's something you don't see very often because most Renekton players will simply rush Tiamat as quick as possible. But we're playing against a Garen right here. And obviously, just buying a Tiamat is not going to do its full work here. It could be very nice, but I want to prepare myself for the level 6. I don't want to be like all in by the Garen and instantly die there. So that's why. For any other matchups... For instance, uh, if you're facing like a Riven or so, something like that, I'd always recommend go for Tiamat. But just the Garen matchup in specific, I much more recommend just just buying Tiamat. Uh, I mean, just buying a uh, Black Lever quick, quick as possible. There we go. We could actually kill him if he comes back, but I highly doubt he's going to come back. I highly doubt. Let's let's find out. No. He's already back the moment that I just walked to the brush. So the good thing right now is that we have TP up. Which means that if they start fighting around bottom side. We can actually TP in. And like help them out. The bad thing is that Garen does also have TP. So he can literally follow us. I would have loved to like get the TP advantage. But we haven't got that chance so far yet. Alright. I'm just going to do the slow push, and if he tries to come here, I'm just going to go for the all-in. Let's see. Let's see if he takes that risk. Oh. Ah, this is definitely not worth. Definitely not. 
I lost my entire uh, rage there. But it's okay. I'll just build it up. If he tries to, I'm going to stop him. So this is pretty much how you do the Garen matchup. Except it could be done a little bit better. But this, this Garen is just playing really safe. That's kind of the problem here. Maybe we could do like a roam mid lane. Get there something. We could get the kill right there. It kind of depends on what he's going to do. Oh, I'm just going to take this one then. I do not want this Kinja to get this camp. That's the most important thing right now. There we go. Perfect. I don't know why he's actually stealing it from me. I don't understand. I much more prefer to take it myself. Okay. Back to the matchup, guys. The farm is pretty even. We do have like a slight lead on this Karen yet. but I mean, we have a slight lead, but... It's not big enough yet. Oh, he's actually moving. He's got to be careful. Garen's right behind him. Luckily for us, the matchup, like, the lane is actually being pushed in towards us. So, Garen is losing a lot of farm right now. That's very good. That's exactly what we want. Also, this should be fine in 152 right now. Like, they're alone there. So that's why I'm just going back top. I want this Garen to lose the entire upcoming wave right here. That's my biggest priority right now. I don't know why these guys haven't gone back, gone back yet. Okay. Now it's perfect. He's going to lose the entire wave right here. Which means that Garen's going to fall behind. And I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to keep it like this too. I want him to lose the next upcoming wave too. Oh, okay. He's actually crazy enough to go in with that health bar to my lane. I'm gonna try to build up my rage. If he tries to take a CS right now, I'm gonna go for the old end. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, uh, we might not be able to take it. Or, yeah, he doesn't have flash anymore. That's great. We just got a kill for free right here. Very good. Ay, that's perfect. So after maxing down your Q, you want to max your E as secondary. So let me take some platings before I go back, though. Perfect. Look at that, man. That's sweet. Oh, he does have TP, though. Yep, we're fine. We got two platings. We have one kill. And he lost about one entire wave there as well. So, he's insanely far behind right now. We just made an insanely big lead. That's exactly what we want to have. Hey, I do want to get this wave, though. Uh, perfect. I also I already have my black lever and we're only 10 minutes in the game so far. That's insanely good. Okay, it's time. I'm gonna buy a ward too. Remember, you should always be buying wards. Hmm. Yeah, I would have loved to the fight him there, but that's not the best idea in the world. Okay, I would love to get that dragon too, by the way. Hopefully the laning phase is not going to go for too long. I can kill him. Okay, I'm like one level ahead of him right now, so... I'm a whole lot stronger than Garen is right now. If I, once I get my ultimate. Ah, I needed my E right there. Yeah, that's quite unfortunate. I'm actually losing my ultimate right here. Perhaps we could we could try to dive him. But that's going to be risky. Okay, we still got him after all. But it's risking. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I thought. 
that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. But it's fine. Because we literally just trade a kill for 100 kill. I know that Kino just got a passive there, but it's still 100% worth. It's still 100% worth. So, next item. I'm going to be rushing. Uh, I actually would like to rush my TM at now. It's still very useful. Even if I get it just now. Still very important. Still something that I would like to get very quick. Yeah, he made it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do it. So just in case you might wonder that was actually my dad there, he had to say something, but <laughs> he didn't quite listen to what I said. Anyway, back to the matchup right now. Um So I'm gonna be rushing my TM at and after rushing the TM at I'm gonna be rushing Ninja Tabis and after we get all of this I'm going to be focusing on getting the dragon together with the team and like grouping up and stuff. It's going to be going quite tanky right now. But it's okay. Alright. I'm going to be pushing in the next wave too and then I'm going to go revert and take that camp out so that Kinjot won't actually get that camp. Also remember guys... Focus on the minimap at all times. I'm literally watching the map twice. Oh, I'm going in. This guy's free for me. Ah. Uh, yep, that's not a kill for me yet. He got away this time. Hmm. It's like literally just one W and one Q. No, I can't. He's gonna auto attack and then hold me. There's no plant either, so. Yeah, that's not very good. I can sustain myself a little bit back though, but I, I wish we had that kill right there. I wish we had it before. Let's go back here. I'm gonna focus on getting like dragons right now and like getting uh, objectives to get up with the team because this is like the moment in time where Garen is gonna outskill you. Uh, let me buy. I'm just gonna sell that. I'm just gonna get this now. It's super important. At the end of the day, you still want to get team at regardless of the outcome of the match. There's only like a very few uh, moments in the game where. You actually uh, do not get TM at, but most, I'd say 99% of all games, you're probably going to buy a TM at regardless. Because it helps you so much shoving in and with the combos and stuff. There's so many combos you can do together with a TM at that makes it so good, you know. Yeah, we got a dragon here. Okay, next time we're going to go bottom. We're going to be split pushing bottom as much as possible and in within like 70 seconds we will have our TP. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. We just continue to split push bottom like 24-7 from now and like trying to farm camps and steal the camps as much as possible so we can put ourselves ahead. Maybe if we could get like a pick on... Kalesa will be really good too. Yep, we got him. Almost. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got him. That was a really free kill. I don't think she really expected me to be in that brush. That's helping us quite a bit here. Oh, someone else is here. Someone else is here somewhere. Okay, my TP will be up in about 10 seconds, which means that we can actually split push and also help my teammates at the same time. Let me get this thing here. Okay. We could see to stay bottom. We don't have to move right now. Oh, they're like farming. I mean, they're like fighting. 
Oh, they seem, they seem to be winning it, so I'm not going to TP. I just keep on repeating the same stuff like I do all the time right now. Yes. This is very good. We can fight him. As you guys can see, we're like, we're literally keeping Garen here and there's absolutely nothing he can do. And at the same time, we have the option to roam at any time. So basically, only if Garen has TP up, only then he will be able to do something. But even then, I'm just sitting here and he's just, there's just nothing he can do. Perfect. Just keep on repeating the same stuff over and over. Actually, I'm getting a gank right now from Ivern. Uh, Zed is here, so I definitely do not want to mess with him too much. Just gotta stay out of here. Oh, I'm actually accidentally... I'm accidentally maxing my W first, but do not do that, guys. I was actually supposed to max out my E first. I'll make sure to put that in the comments down below too. Do not max your W as secondary guys. Max it as last. Saying it to make sure. Oh, they surrender already? That surprises me. Okay. Well, I knew that we were winning pretty hard, but yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, for the best runes and for the best build, do not forget to check out the description as well as the comment section because I'm pinning it there. Also, do not forget max Q and then max E and then max W as last. Do not max W a second. I made a mistake, okay? My bad. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Do not forget to check out my stream. If you want to see High Elo Games, the link will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys very soon, man. Take care.